Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have something a little bit different as we have a box, as you can see. Decent sized box, kind of like the size of a tray table, so I might say. But also, inside this box we have three new models from the new May release of Gemini Jets in the 1-400 to scale. So, without further ado, let's crack this box open. And we have paper. So as we start to remove the paper, we see the models we got. So as I have removed the paper, we have the models inside. Maybe we'll look at it. first one you can see. Got the JetBlue A220 300. Got the Republic Airways 175. And of course, we had to get the Trump 757. Let's get this box out of the way. Now with the box out of the way, we can see all three models lined up here. All have the similar size boxes. And then we get the first glance at all of them. And the 7.5. Alright, let's start opening these. First up, we have the JetBlue Airbus A220-300. And opening this up, this is what it looks like in the inside. Here is the panel. I can get that in focus the frame. And if you wish to read it, pause video here. But to get the aircraft out, ah, here we go. So we'll take the protective, protective top layer off. And then here we have it. We have the JetBlue A220-300. Looks pretty dang good. Let's get a closer look at this. Here is the model with a closer look that we have. It looks pretty stunning to be honest. Very excited to have this in my collection. Starting off looking here at the nose of the airplane, we have the cockpit here. And then we have the name of the aircraft, Dreaming of a Blue Era, moving door, moving forward to the front, do front doors. We have them here and the windows, as you can see. That is the seat I sat in, 1A when I flew this jet, which is pretty, pretty good experience. Moving onwards though, we have the engines, the wings, nice detail of the, the lettering there. Then we have the registration of November 3044, Juliet. And we got the tail here. <laughs> So moving on, we have the Republic Airways Embraer 175. Now these don't really fly into Appleton at all, and they have in the past though, so that's why I've got these. They've operated for American Airlines, but I got this just in case. Plus the livery for the Republic is pretty pretty cool, I'd say. So that's why I want to get this one. Starting off, we got the the opening box right here. Moving on, we have the aircraft, and then we have the facts, if you'd like to read those. Try and get them there. So here we have the plastic removed from the box. And as we pull open, check the layer. See the model. We'll grab the plane out. Just out of the way. So here it is. Looks pretty good. Very clean. It's the undercarriage. Looks very nice. Very happy with this model. And let's get into a closer look with it. Starting off, we have the jet here. Looking pretty good. Moving forward though. We'll zoom in. See that nose gear. There we go. Nose gear. Forward door. Then if we lift this up, we should see a port for the electrics, or for ground power, I should say, right under the door there. All the instruments and everything as well. All right, moving on. Have the windows, the logo. Let's see if we can see what that says there. I'm not quite sure what that says there, actually. But we'll move on to the rest of the model. Got the engines there. Looking pretty good. All the access panels back here. 
see if we got. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if we got potable water. Should be under that aft door there. I don't see anything. Let's see if we got the lav service in though. That is on the other side. Doesn't look like that either. But we got the cargo doors, access panels. Got the heat hose hook up at the bottom there. All in all, looking pretty good. Pretty nice model. And then here we got the two jets together side by side. Kind of see the size difference between the two. And here are the two jets from the nose as well. You can see there's a diff quite a bit different height difference there. So, yeah, engine size difference and all that as well. Flown on both these aircraft and thoroughly enjoyed both of them, to be honest. <laughs> Next off, we have the Trump 757 or Trump Force 1. Here's the box, and it looks pretty dang nice. Moving on in, we have the aircraft here. And then we also have the facts here. If you'd like to read those, we'll let you read them. Pause the video here if you want to read them. Here we have the model without the box on it and the plastic. See the box a little different here with the tail, assuming the height of it. Crack this plastic off. Here's our first look at the Trump 757. Take that off. Wow, it's looking pretty nice. Get it out of the packaging. Let's get a closer look at it. Here we have a closer look of the 757, and it is looking beautiful. Look at this front. Zooming in, we got the forward door, nose gear. Moving on, we got the Trump name, of course. And those beautiful Rolls Royce engines, along with even a decal on them, which looks really nice. I mean, I know it's in real life, it has that too, but looks good on the model. Moving over, got the rest of the plane, got the registration, November 757, Alpha Foxtrot, and the tail with the American flag on it, of course. <laughs> Moving over here, bringing the 220 and the 175, we can see the size difference in this aircraft. It is significantly larger than both, along with quite a bit of height difference as well, as you can see here. And then from the side here, we can also see just how big this aircraft is, especially for a private jet as well. I know there, even, there are even bigger ones as well. I decided to get the 220 because I flew on it. This or it was actually last year already. I flew on it last year. It was my first 220 flight and it was absolutely brilliant. Flew from Milwaukee to New York and back. Got some pizza there and flew back, which was, which was a very fun experience. Sitting here, we have the Trump 757 private jet, of course, so it doesn't service anything except for Trump's needs. But got this. Might include it in the airport update at some point. I don't know if Trump is a special visitor to Appleton, right? But we'll see what happens with this. I got it because the model is great and the aircraft looks brilliant. Next up here, we have the Republic Airways 175. Seen these a bit at Appleton in the past, but recently we haven't. But just having a look at this, it looks great. Most recently have been serving Green Bay from Chicago. So, I mean, maybe I'll put a diversion into Appleton or something, right? But... Regardless, these aircraft all look great, and we might be seeing them in updates here or there, or maybe even in a few fantasy updates. Stick around, and thanks for watching this unboxing.